Welcome back to the show. Natalie Joyce has broken her silence for the first time since the affair of her estranged husband, Barnaby Joyce, surfaced. In an exclusive unpaid interview with the Australian Women's Weekly, Natalie reveals her heartbreak over Barnaby's betrayal and very public love affair with his former staffer, Vicky Campion. We're joined by our Sunday jury, Nine Honey, Shelley Horton and Hi. WSFM's Brendan hello. Jones. Hello, hello. I'm going to start with Shelley. Mm. Yeah. Do you think it was time that we heard from Natalie? I actually love that she's had a chance to have her say because I think she's showing to her girls that she has a backbone and she's not just going to take this and, you know, like... She's described it as when she watched the interview, she wanted to throw a brick at the TV. Mm. Mm. But I think the biggest upsetting detail for me was when she revealed that Sebastian was actually the name that she and Barnaby had decided that if they ever had a boy to be Sebastian. I do not mm. think that is forgivable mm. for mm. Barnaby to even consider that name. Mm. I mean, he has a say here. He could say to Vicky, it might be your favourite name, but that's the name that, you know, mm. my wife and I, we're mm. going to use. That would not be great. That's a lack of respect. It's mm. so... Mm. He's lower than a snake's belly, and I think this shows another level of the lack of respect. Mm. I think that Natalie has actually held herself very well in this situation, and I love that it was an unpaid interview because that's just thumbs yeah. and nose a little bit further mm. at it. Mm. Yeah, I found the most disturbing thing about that particular interview was the exposed brick in that kitchen. Did you see how much <laughs> exposed yeah. brick? Yeah. It looked like a pizza hut from the yeah. 70s. No <laughs> kid can be raised like that. Yeah. I mm. worry. That's, mm. that's a, exposed yeah. brick is so out. Yes. Do you think she's setting a good example to her daughters? Uh, I think so. What about the exposed brick? No, moving no. on to serious <laughs> stuff. Sorry, gear change. Uh, yes, I think she is. I think she's done the right thing about this. And as Shelley said, yeah. the unpaid interview. You know, it, it, like, and to steal the name, that is... Yeah. Mm. Can I just say Goodness. one thing, though? It's like, she's obviously very angry at Vicky and she's saying that, you know, she stole my husband. I think women need to change the way that they think about that and just focus on him. He's mm. the one who did the wrong thing. Mm. He's the one who made the decision to cheat. Mm. And I think that, you know, turning it women fighting against each other is not helpful. Mm. He's the one mm. who is the... Mm the smelly, nasty piece of work. But you Who really don't like him, do I you? really don't like him. Well, by, by, by taking the name, you know, yeah. you already said it's a lack of yeah. respect. How does that dovetail into how he's handled the whole thing, do you think? It's like, yeah. I, I'm sorry, but I don't think Vicky Campion's a very good media advisor because he's had very, mm. very poor media advice on this. Mm. Every step of the way, he's done the wrong thing. Mm. Every step of the way, he's upset the public. Mm. Every step of the way, he's upset his family. Mm. Like, it just, none of it has actually been a PR win. But according to him, he's, he's the victim in all of this, isn't yeah. he? He wishes. Yeah. It's going to be orcs at Christmas time, that's all I can say. Well, I think there might be two separate Christmases. There'll be two yeah. separate that, that, Well, there's a win-win. Yeah, <laughs> there's an upside. That's not such a bad thing. Double the presents. <laughs> I see the bright side of things. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, my glass is half yeah, well, full. Right. <laughs> he's, he's literally seeing the bright side yeah. today with the terrific shirt he's wearing. Yeah, so, terrific. So, you know, and I can see what Pete's doing here. Yeah. He, uh, he's heading up for some sort of uh, sledge. No, no, I love a boulangerie yeah. he's, he's and a patisserie. He's building you up to slap you There is. There's going to be something yes. along the lines of, oh, do they make it in, in, in men's uh, no, sizes? Stop today. giving him his life. Well, no, I can see how he's, he's working. He's just taken yeah. him away. Well, what about uh, after the Women's State of Origin game on Friday night, Maroons player Katrina Brown and Blues player Vanessa Foliaki embraced with a kiss. The picture was posted to social media, leaving some fans upset with the display of affection. Shelley, should these fans just get over it? A hundred percent, yes. I love this kiss. I think it's a fantastic celebration. I mean, if we've got Cooper Cronk and Tara kissing after a game, no one complains about that. Yeah. Mm. I actually want the social media team from the NRL to be given a pay increase because they responded to all of these really nasty mm. trolls online saying, Welcome to 2018. Yeah. Can't wait for you to come on board. Maybe, maybe. They just kept it like light and fun, mm. and yeah. that's the way to handle it because making changes like this actually will make other women feel more comfortable, you know, in the future. It's going to be more accepted by mm. families watching. So this is actually an important thing. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with them here. No, no, no. Well, Jane had a problem with it because it was a Maroons player and a Blues player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the, that was the problem. Yeah. Pops her head up like a meerkat <laughs> back there. The internet is dedicated to that sort of stuff, you know, women wrestling and kissing. You know, so what's the, you know, the oh, big deal? Oh, well, it's true. I'm just saying, you know, you kind of double stand. You always Am add I? so much. Am I? You know what? <laughs> you, just, you just mentioned that the NRL uh, PR team did a good job of that. Yeah. Maybe Parnaby should have employed them. I think uh, that's uh, what he does uh, need to employ. Coming up, Ali, Jane and I challenge Australia is official.